how to create all kinds of distorted and super colorful imagery like this very quickly using filters such as liquify, oil paint, etc. Well, they're very simple. So what I'm gonna do, just go and cancel this. And you can see the design that I started with. That was liquefied as well. It was also used with oil paint filters and others. So the key thing is always just go to filter, liquefy, and in that you can do anything. You've got this distorted design, you can simply go to it. And this is using the basic brush right at the top, the forward warp tool, and just apply it. You can vary the size. Now I generally go for about 500, 500, I think that's reasonable, depending on the size document, and simply rotate it, just rotate and distort design. Now the key thing is to avoid dragging at the edge. So if you drag at the edge, you see what happens. It doesn't look very good. So simply try and push it outwards. Always try to push outwards or rotate in the center. Make certain you don't sort of drag that transparency in like that. So once you've done that, once you've created this distorted design, and literally millions can be created this way, click OK. You can also go over here, filter and liquefy. Apply it again. And it'll take a few seconds to press. And sometimes the result will be brilliant. What also you can do is you can always go to filter and you can go down to stylize and oil paint if you want to create a slightly more smeary design. So filter and oil paint, set those to the max, don't have the lighting on and click OK and apply. You can see just again, you can always go back to filter and liquefy. But how to create the colorful design in the first place? Well, it all starts from a very basic brush. Basic brush and using patterns. So I've got this document and I'm going to create a layer. Really useful, create a layer because I want some transparency. So layer and new and layer. Click OK. Now at the moment it hasn't got transparency, but I'm going to apply a brush and I'm going to delete the background layer. So just select that, brush tool, just use a soft round 44, very basic brush, and apply it with different colors. Super useful, go to window and swatches. Because then you can just select the colors. So you can just go green and just apply a very slight squiggle. That's all the designs were created from. Of course, you can create other designs of brushes, perfectly reasonable square brushes, circular brushes. And you can create multiple colors going down. Once you've done that, go to window and layers. So window and layers, and you can then remove that background layer. You can also remove this now, swatches, don't need that anymore. And you can see you've got that layer. That's why I created the layer at the start. Then I can delete that. So just go down here, delete it. Yes, then define it. Now I don't want to define the whole document, so I'm going to use the rectangular marquee tool, and you can just define it that way, just select there. Now you can apply other effects, filters, twirls, distortions on this as well. But to define the pattern, go to edit and define pattern. You could also create brush, of course. Click OK. Go to edit and fill, and instead of white, go for pattern. And then select the pattern you just created, go with script, to make certain that's turned on, symmetry fill, and then click OK. And you can see your design there. Go with seven, you could go with eight or nine, they're pretty useful as well. And then you can set the scale 1.25, go for translation, set them to the max. Initially, you can always vary them, just try them out, try different settings. You can create literally thousands of combinations just by changing the numbers, 31, 97. And I've got color randomness, one, one. Click OK, and you can see the design straight away, but you can also apply it a couple of times. Edit menu and fill, and pattern again, exact the same settings, click OK, and apply again. And you can see you've just added a few more. Because it doesn't add as many as I would like. Nice if it filled it completely, but it doesn't. Real good feature, filter, and stylize, and oil paint. Just smear it a bit. Again, to the max, click OK, and you can always apply that a couple of times. So you've got that design, filter, and liquefy, exactly the same as right at the start. You got this design, well what you can do, exactly the same as before, you got size 500, and you just warp it. Again, push it outwards. Push outwards, so you avoid sort of bringing in the transparency. So you just drag that out, create all kinds of weird and wonderful, and then you can distort in the center, maybe apply a few, like go around in a circle. Just basically rotate, create circular designs like that. Now you might, by accident, pull that in, so you can just push that out a bit more, and go like that, distort it in that way, and then once you've got that, click OK, and then you can go here, filter, and liquefy again, and you can see you can get that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Then filter, and stylize, and oil paint, and click OK. If you've got any questions about how to do all these things, 
Do you suddenly think, you know what? I really didn't understand that liquify. What did you do? Which brush did you use? Please put in the comments below. Always happy to answer any questions about the brushes, patterns, filter effects, all those steps. Please let me know in the comments below. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new videos about liquify, about oil paint filters, about brush strokes, pattern designs, and much, much more. Also, a like or dislike, and well, hope you come back and check out some of my other videos. Always creating new videos, near enough every day. Bye.